Hey everybody, my name is Shadow Phoenix. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Planet Coaster here in Planko Projects September Edition. Uh, basically, I am re trying to recreate the Coney Island log flume that will be opening in 2020 there. The only thing I have to work on though is, or work with I should say, is the concept art and that's where things are kind of a little difficult because you know concept art isn't necessarily the final product uh, but it's a really cool looking design and I really kind of want to try to get it recreated in there. Um, from the first time I saw it I was like I really want to do that in Planet Coaster. So that's what we're going to try to do. So the first two episodes, the first episode uh, we did the layout basically. The second episode we did the facade for our but basically, I think this is going to be the station building uh, that it's going to have, and maybe some other stuff will probably be included in that. And in today's episode, we are going to continue work on said um, station building here and try to get this worked out. So I think I'm going to try to do the roof here real quick is what we're going to try to work on today. And I think what I'd like to try to do is use... Uh, we're going to go to roofs and... The veranda roof is what we're going to try to use, I think, here. So, let's see. Make sure my angle snap is on. And straighten that out. There we go. And, okay, so yeah, that will probably work for that. So we're going to start with the middle and then work our way down, I think. So let's try to put it maybe right about there. I think that looks about right. All right, and then we'll move the next piece over, down, like so. Maybe not quite there though. Maybe we'll move it in a little bit, like that, and then down. And this is where we're gonna tilt it. So what I'm thinking is two, and then what we'll do is we'll smooth this out a little bit after we get done with it. I'm going to put that in there like that, and then one more down here on the edge, and then tilt that like that. You know what? This is kind of looking pretty good. That's actually not half bad, except it's not quite half good either. All right, so now we're going to take off the angle snap, and we're going to move these around a little bit kind of make that just a little bit flatter bring this up to here bring this over try to connect it just right to the edge so that they connect next piece I don't know if I'm going to use that one or not maybe but we might keep that angle We'll probably try to keep that angle. And then move this one down a little bit so it's more slanted. And kind of get it to work kind of into that. And then the next piece will be the last piece. And I think I might try to tilt that in just a little bit more like that. That looks great. It's almost, it feels smooth. So now we're going to take all of these that we just did going to duplicate it and since I started building everything on the grid to begin with we'll move everything over like that and connect the two and we should have a nice circular looking roof well that's not too bad I actually like that that came out pretty decent all right let's do this let's make this into one all in one piece I love the fact that we can put scenery pieces into a group now group those together so it makes it easier to move just scenery pieces and tilt them around and do everything we need to do with them that is extremely handy let me just tell you all right, so we'll take these and extend this out all the way down to um, not sure how far we'll go with this, to be honest. I 
probably need to see how big our log flume station is going to be. Let's see. So looking at the concept art, it looks like it has one, two, three, four, probably five. Five different things on it. So let's see here. Let's look at this. Let's go ahead and grab this. And let's go to buildings and arches. I'm going to use arches to go along the edge down here. And the reason I'm doing that is because that looks pretty much close to what they have here. From what I can tell anyway. And it is hard to see though, but I think that's what they're using. So we'll put those down through there like that. We ended up with what? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah. It's a little bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, just a little. Um, you know, I'm looking at the concept art, and it feels like... Okay, so it's got a boardwalk that runs along this way, and it feels like the boardwalk is up a little bit from what this is. So it may actually... We may have to raise our main building here a little bit. And that, that's perfectly fine. But these right here, yeah, these are too many. I need to readjust these a little bit. Let's do this. Let's do copy. Okay, and I'm going to put a space in between each one of these like that. One, two, three, four. Okay. That should be close to the length I want. Maybe I should put two spaces in between each one? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe I should use double on these. You know what? Let's try that. It's all about experimenting when you're trying to recreate things like this. So, let's see what we can come up with. I don't think we're going to get five out of this, though. Might get four. And four can maybe work. A long building, but looking at the concept art, it's long in the concept art too. Hmm. I actually like that. I actually do kind of dig that. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I think we are. I think I'm gonna go with that. It's not quite where I want it though. Can we make it just a little bit smaller? Let's find out. If we take this, this, move those back a little bit, move those. Can we put them together to make a space between each one? there you know what that's not bad that's not half bad I like it yeah we're gonna go that route okay so now we just extend our roof along the edge down here until it comes to right about where we want it which probably will be uh, yeah, probably about right to there. It does look, though, that we are going to have to raise this building some. Alright, is all of that in one piece? It is. Okay. Let's do this, and let's capture all of this as well. 
Let's just get all of that except the station. And let's raise this up just a little bit. I want to get those to be right about there. Okay. But I want these, now that we are looking at these, no, not that piece, there we go, to move down some. Yeah, that actually works pretty good. Okay, I also need to grab all of these pieces right here and paint them to a white color. What color did I use there? Oh, it's pure white, okay. There we go. And let's grab those and duplicate them to the other side. not connecting up right. That's an interesting question. Hmm. Okay, so now we can kind of see where these are going. like I need to raise them up. Okay, so let's do that. Let's raise them. Up two. Up three. Up two. All right. Now, all right, with that being said, now we gotta grab all of our roof pieces and we're going to then take these, make them all one building, and we're gonna raise the roof. Yeah! To be right about there. That's good. Grab our log flume station. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just move the entire log flume over. All right, so a little trick here, guys. If you're trying to move, I've said this before in some of my videos, and I, just in case you're new to my series and everything, you can actually take and use the, you can hit I now, which is the shortcut, but use the uh, multi-select tool down here, grab a coaster or something, and then with that, you can then hit X to move it around. And it's a very handy feature to move things around because if you don't do that, then it just gets everywhere on you and it's a complete mess. So I recommend doing it this way. All right, this could probably work. The entire building up here, the entire structure here is quite a bit larger than what I would prefer. Uh, Trying to figure out how I'm going to work with that. Mm, but we can figure it out. Okay, so with this, let's move on to the next section.
All right, I'm going to use these vintage pieces right here. Put right in between these. Just like that. I think and actually it's going to look quite well. Move those up a little bit. Yeah, just like that. And then one down here on the end to match everything else. Now, what we might have to do, but I oh, know if we do that, it's not going to work out right, is it? No, we can't really do that. Okay. I was wanting to put one right here on this end, too. But if we do that, it's not going to look right. So we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is this. We're going to take these. And we're going to transfer them over and duplicate them over to the other side. Like so. And I want to try to get them not really centered, but kind of centered. That'll probably work right. Alright, and from here, I should have done this side first. I'm going to grab all of them one more time but every single one of the pieces this time. And we're gonna move them up until they are on the platform. Right about there. Uh, actually, that doesn't work. Right about there. Okay, then I'm gonna actually grab the ride and we're gonna move the ride down some until the ride platform is flush with that. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Okay. Now, it looks like, from what I can tell, these are actually repeated up on top as two. So, we're going to grab that, 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 all of these. Duplicate them and move them up. Until they are flush with the ceiling right there. Uh, except it looks like these pieces on top are actually a little different. I'm going to try something here on these. I'm going to try to move them over. To where they are more perfectly aligned. Alright, and by doing so... They are not exactly centered with the ones on the bottom. So to fix that, we are going to do this. We're going to separate it from the rest of the building, make it its own building, and center them that way. Yes, OK. Are all of those the same things? Yes, they are. All right, make that the same building. Okay, sweet. And now we are going to take and at the building, we're going to grab all of these if we can we 
for some odd reason it's not gonna let me select that other piece over here and we are going to separate those from the rest of the building as well and I'm going to do something that I was thinking about doing earlier but I didn't Where's the centerpiece Oh, I've grabbed a tree or something. I feel like I've got something here. Oh, I've got some rocks. Okay. All right. There we go. Much better. We can move this now. Okay. So let's move this over here. Uh, we're going to move it so that it's like that. Which means I also have to move this over too. Uh oh. Just delete that piece. It's fine. And if we move this down, oh, oh, I wanted to copy that. If we copy this down to here, and over to here, I still feel like it's not right. So we're going to move it over a little bit more. to there. There. Okay. And then center those. Alright. That looks great. Wish I'd done the same thing over here though. Alright, now. The rest of it is just adjusting a few things around. Which I can take care of fairly quick. to move that out a little bit. But we can grab all of those. Except for these. Unseparate those. That's okay, because I don't want to use any more pieces than we have to for this, so that's fine, actually. Now, the only thing left is it looks like it has, from what I can tell, can I raise this up and put a double thing on it? Yeah, we can, actually. Ooh, hey, what if we turn this upside down? Remember, guys, don't be afraid to experiment a little bit, too. When you're doing stuff like this. Yeah, I don't like that, so we're gonna actually put that back down. And let's see, so that connects to that, right? To there. That's fine. Just on the edges. That kind of that kind of works, actually. We can put like a little tower or something back here. It doesn't match the concept art per se, but it does kind of look good. I feel like I can work with that, so we're gonna go with it. Okay, 
Now we just need to build a balcony. It looks like it comes out. Now, according to the concept art, the balcony is only from like two of these comes out, but I'm actually going to build it out completely for my use here. So let's go to scenery and go to fencing. And there's a great stone piece in here. You're right, right there. These, these right here. I'm gonna use these to build a balcony. And it's completely white. There we go. Right off of the edge of this. Just like that. Alright, so I'm going to do this on both sides, and once I get the balcony built, I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back, and this is what I've done. Uh, I have put the fencing, and I built a boardwalk over top of this. The boardwalk was quite easy. I had to actually, when I built the balcony over top of this, I built a second floor in here. So I actually just took part of that, moved it out here, copied it, and then built our boardwalk out through there as well. So, all right, we only have a few things remaining, and then we are gonna be done with this project, and that is just the surrounding area down in there here, and some just minor details, and that is going to be that for this project, and we will be done. So, until next week, I will see you guys on that one, and the last episode, and the release of our Coney Island Log Flume. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I very much appreciate it. If you are not already a subscriber here on the channel and you'd like to be, click that button down below to do so and click the bell to be notified the next time my video goes live as I have been doing daily content here on the channel. You can also follow me over on Twitter and I live stream on twitch.tv as well. So if you like the content you see here, you will love the live streaming too. The links for those are in the video description down below. Now, if you are in a position to do so and you would like to support the channel, you can do that through our Patreon page or you can use one of our affiliate links such as Green Man Gaming, Humble Bundle, or Amazon. Any purchase you make by clicking on our links, a little percentage of that goes to me to help towards living expenses as well as making the content better here on the channel. Now, as always, I love to hear from you guys, so make sure you click that like button and leave comments below to let me know your thoughts on the videos. That's gonna do it for me today. Remember guys, wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.